Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to create an invoice on PayPal. Uh, once you log into your PayPal account, you're going to go and click on the Request Money tab. So from there, you have the option to create an invoice. You can either create a custom template or use the PayPal default. I just like to use the default. So from here, we've got a few different things we can do. Uh, one, this box is your business information. So you can actually determine what's going to show up on your invoice as far as your business information goes. Uh, you are able to insert a logo like I have here. Uh, you can change the logo, remove the logo. Uh, you can also edit your business information per invoice. So for example, uh, if you have certain invoice settings but you'd like to change the invoice settings for that specific invoice, like your email address, name, address, phone number, etc. You can edit that by clicking this. Uh, to save whatever information you want to a permanent template, you can just go up here and click on invoice settings and you can edit all this stuff right there and that's what's going to permanently show up on your invoices. Um, however, like I said, if you want to edit it for a specific invoice, you would do that right here. Uh, next box over here we have invoice information so by default PayPal just goes to the next invoice number after your last invoice created but you can make the number whatever you want so for example if you want to make it invoice 0017 just change it to that uh, invoice date is typically the date that your invoice is created so today is the 20th so we're gonna go ahead and leave it on the 20th uh, payment terms due on receipt or you can have it due on a date specified or no due date I always just like to leave it due on receipt um, so due date obviously is going to stay today because that's the day we're going to email it so let's scroll down here next box is send to so now you can either go to your address book and select an email from your address book to send the invoice to if it's somebody that you bill frequently or you can just type in the recipient's email address so for example just for video purposes we're going to make an invoice to hung low at yahoo.com And you can also have the option here to save this to the address book if you want to. You can add billing and shipping information here. That's optional. Okay, so now we go down to the actual invoice. So let's say we sold Mr. Hung Lo five widgets. So we're going to type in widget XYZ. Okay, let's say the unit price per widget is $6. Now you also have the option to add tax, and you can put in the name or the rate, or no tax. You can also save the item in case this is something that you sell frequently, and you can change the quantity amount. So let's say Mr. Hung Lo bought 10 of widget XYZ at $6. It now shows up as a $60 amount. So it does the math for you. It's pretty nice. And now we have another option down here. You can either, if you would like to discount, say Mr. Hung Lo is a frequent customer and you offer him a standing 5% discount on all purchases. You can put in 5%. It automatically calculates it for you, taking off $3, making the total invoice price $57. Or let's say any order over $50, you offer him a $5 discount. You can change it to dollar amount. It will automatically subtract the dollar amount and give you a total of $55. But let's just change it back to percent 
So Mr. Hunwell gets a 5% discount for being a frequent customer. And right here you can insert your shipping and handling costs. So say for 10 widgets of XYZ, it's going to cost you $5.99 in shipping. Now that automatically changes your total to $62.99. So you can do all kinds of things through here. If you want to offer discounts, if you want to offer a discount for somebody buying multiple items, if you want to include your shipping and handling, uh, you can just do all that right here from the invoice. You can also add tax on the shipping if you want. You can put in tax name and percent rate. And this is a nice little box included on the invoice that allows you to insert your return or cancellation policy if you have one. Another box also allows you to put a note to the recipient. So this is a note that the recipient will receive. So for example, thank you for your frequent business, Mr. Hung Lo. Cancellation policy, return policy, no returns accepted. And then finally, this last box down here is a memo. This is something that your recipients won't see. So if you remember Mr. Hung Lo is a difficult customer, you can just type that in here. Uh, or if he's a valued customer, Mr. Hung Lo is a valued customer or any kind of message that you want to leave yourself for the uh, memo. Alright, and you can also choose to save this as a template if Mr. Hunglo orders the same thing all, you know, all the time over and over. Uh, you can choose to save the invoice and then you can send it at a later date. You can close out of the invoice. You can send the invoice or you can preview the invoice. I'm not actually going to send it. So right now, let's just preview how the invoice is going to look. All right. So now this is the invoice that uh, Mr. Hunglow is going to receive. As you can see, everything that we've inserted, it shows our logo, our name. You can also choose to have your address, phone number, email address, etc. in this area. It shows your invoice number, your invoice date. Payment is due upon receipt. Due date is today. We're billing it to hunglo at yahoo.com. Description of the product is widget XYZ. Quantity 10. Unit price is $6. Making the total $60. Uh, subtotal $60. Discount. Mr. Hunglo gets 5% discount. Which is a $3 discount. Shipping and handling $5.99. And your total $62.99 US dollars. Terms and conditions, no returns accepted. Note to recipient, thank you for your frequent business, Mr. Hunglo. All right, well, it looks like the uh, invoice turned out good. All the information that we had is in there. And all we'd have to do from here is hit send. So thank you for watching and hope this was informational to you.